All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Painting from the heart. We're painting daisies today. And that's an always an adventure flowers. Mama loves her flowers. If you don't get this one right, we're in big trouble. Let's see what we can do here. Hang on. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm using a very simple uh, color combination here. I've got my yellow ochre, burnt sienna, some burnt umber, ultramarine blue, my white. Because we did, we did our drawing, our background's getting drier. Uh, we're in good shape there. My white's still going to be wet. But right now, I guess I need to start establishing where these things are going to be. i got to get this table down under all this, so I'm going to do my table first. But my background's pretty well going to stay in the background unless we decide to do some glazes. Let's get this table laid down. I'm going to take some of this right here, the uh, yellow ochre, and just kind of a glaze. I want it kind of thin. Maybe not that thin. I already had water in my brush. Thin that out a little bit. But let's figure out where this oak table, that's why we use that color. It's going to go right through that jar. Why don't we just paint right over it? If you just paint over your picture, oh, that makes them scream, makes them holler. But we'll pick all that back up. Remember, this was just a drawing. We'll get it back. Let's get our oak table established in here. Oak's got a grain to it, so let's just get some paint in here. Now, I'm bad about this. I'll always, I, I'm not afraid to paint over what I've been painting just to help establish, I mean, is the, what I was in here. I mean, just to get it, we gotta get it on here, gotta get it on the canvas. Something to paint into. I mean, I've got those colors underneath, so it's gonna give me some good colors that'll kind of show through what I'm painting. And that's what I wanna do. Well, so we gotta have, to get an oak table, we gotta get that oak color in there. You know, stems will be laying on top of that table. There's the bottom of my jar, and I'm going to cut some out right there at the bottom of that jar because you'd actually see that under down under there. I'm not worried about my flowers. I have a little bit across the flowers. It won't hurt that. Let's just get this little bit in there. There's the back of that table, see? Check out the line back there. There's the back edge of that board. Let's establish some individual boards in there. starting to look a little bit like a table back there. We hope so. Not, we'll work on it some more. Now, I kind of lost my stems and everything there. I kind of like that, kind of get a little bit of that sunshine color up here. We'll, we'll pick some of that back up in a little bit, but get some color up here in that jar. Just smoothly, just, just so it's got some color up there. Oop, a little bit too far there. It's, to me, this is a little bit of a sunshine color. So I'm going to put some, I'm not afraid to put a lot of colors. Remember what I always tell you, the more color you have, the more depth you're going to have. Don't be afraid to put your colors in there. Picked up a little bit of white in that stroke, so I'm going to carry it some other places. Get this corner good over here. Don't want to look like I didn't get my corners good. There we go. So it's just giving me some custom color, something to paint into there, but it helped establish the edge of my, where my, where my table's actually gonna be. Something to paint into, more paint to paint into. And I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of that white. Now I mix that in with that, to even give me a, a brighter oak color. So I'll get that back edge back there, there we go. Pick it up right there and just pull it in this front edge because obviously the light's going to be hitting from over here and we'll catch that right in there. A few strokes of light coming across here. What is that hard white right there? That's all we're doing is we're painting in the paint. We're just having a good time. Get some paint on this canvas. And y'all know I don't waste a lot of paint. I'm not afraid to take oops, what's on there and mix it in. Now, see, I just made a big mistake right there. I let my brush slip, threw that up on there. But we can take care of that. We will handle that. I'm going to give me a clean brush and see if I can erase it a little bit. See. Scrub it back off there. 
and we'll touch that up. A little more white in that. So put a little more white into that yellow ochre there. Get yeah. Let's get that color out. There we go. Okay, so back of that table back there. Where the light's going to be hit. Edge of that board there, and on the edge of that board there, it cuts right into my jar a little bit. And right here by these flowers. And I hope that's giving us kind of a table look back there. I know where it's going to be. Now let's get straight some of this back up with color. There's my jar. There it is again. Pulled right back down into it. Times we can do this jar before we can act, before we lose it. And we can do that a whole bunch of times. We're not going to lose that jar. So we know what's there. Just keep that edge fine a little bit. There we go. Get this edge we have right here, this big hard edge here. Here we go. A little light reflecting on that back side. Stems we had going up through there, just get our stems back. And just we just keep get, going back and forth and around and around until we get what we want it to be. With that sunlight cast in there and with the bottom of that jar down there. Cast him in there. So when the stem comes up out of that water, we get a bright light on it there. Move just right down the end of it. Connect the two. And up here, where it's going to hit that sunlight. This is again, this is how you build your depth. More and more different colors, the more colors you put on, keep piling color on top of color. And you're going to end up with something. You're going to end up with something good. Let's catch a little sun. It's kind of hitting right between there. So we're seeing the back of this one. So it's going to kind of be in a shadow because the front edges will be brighter. This one was way back in the background. I'm not really worried about him. I'm going to keep him back there. I'm going to cut this one in a little bit brighter here. So we didn't put the shadows in here. We're just cutting where we want our flowers to be. We made them afraid to make strong strokes because as we get more detail oriented, we get we'll take care of all that. With that strong highlight going around that jar right there, and it'll be hitting right back on that back side. Touch a line here. We got to get right there. Reestablish these down here. So now we're back to where we're playing here. We got our table kind of knocked out here. So now we know what we can work on next. I tell you what, y'all come.